In this video, I will show you an example of solving a non-homogeneous second-order differential equation with the method of variation of parameters. The given differential equation is y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals e to the x over 1 plus x squared. We want to find the complementary solution and the particular solution of this differential equation. The general solution of a non-homogeneous differential equation is the sum of complementary solution and the particular solution, which here in this video we want to see how we can find the particular solution with the method of variation of parameters. But before finding the particular solution, first we have to find the complementary solution. And for finding the complementary solution, first we have to write the homogeneous equation corresponding to this equation. y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals 0. The homogeneous equation is the equation which the right side instead of this expression is 0. And we know that for finding the solution of a homogeneous differential equation, First, we have to write the characteristic equation, r squared, because we have two prime here, r squared minus 2r to the 1 plus 1 equals 0. This is the characteristic equation for this homogeneous equation. If you are not familiar with finding the solutions of a homogeneous differential equation, you can watch my video in this topic about finding solutions of homogeneous differential equations. Now we have to find r from this quadratic equation. We can use quadratic formula or we can factor it. We can factor this as r minus 1 times r minus 1 equals 0, which from this we have r equal 1, and from the other bracket we have r1. So this shows that 1 is a repeated root. It's very important. And if you remember, when we have repeated roots, the complementary solution is equal to c sub 1 e to the, the root, which is 1, 1x, one which we can write simply x, plus c 2x e to the x. We put this extra x here because we have repeated roots. Let me remind you, when we have repeated roots, in general, this is the formula that we use for finding the solution of a homogeneous differential equation c sub 1 e to the rx plus c 2x e to the rx but here in this example r is 1 so this is the complementary solution now we are ready to find the particular solution with the method of variation of parameters note that you cannot find the solution of this non-homogeneous differential equation with the method of undetermined coefficients why? Because this side of the equation is not a polynomial, is not exponential function, and is not a sine or cosine. Here we have a function that is in the fractional form, and so we cannot use the method of undetermined coefficient for finding the particular solution. For finding the particular solution, we use this formula particular solution is negative y1 integral y2 f of x over Ranskian of y1 y2 dx plus y2 integral of y1 f of x over Ranskian of y1 y2 dx. We can use this formula for finding the particular solution of a non-homogeneous second-order differential equation. This is the formula for the method of variation of parameters. In the, this formula, y1 and y2 are the two functions that we found here in the complementary solution. So y1 and y2 are e to the x and x e to the x. So y1 and y2 are the functions without the coefficient c1 and c2. y1 is only e to the x and y2 is x e to the x. What is f of x in this formula? f of x is the function in the right side of the equation. So f of x is e to the x over 1 plus x2. 
and we know how to find the run scan of the two function. Let me remind you how we can find run scan in general. Run scan of two function equals a two by two determinant that the first row of that determinant is y1 and y2. Don't forget y1 and y2 are these two functions. So we have to put those functions in the first row and the derivative of those functions in the second row. So we put y prime and y prime 2 in the second row. And by finding this determinant, we can find the Ranskia. Hopefully you remembered how to find the determinant. We have to multiply y1 by y prime 2. So this equals y1 y prime 2 minus y2 y prime 1. Now let us start to calculate the particular solution. And it's better to start with calculating the run scan to get rid of the run scan here. The run scan of these two functions, the run scan of e to the x and x e to the x is put these two functions in the first row e to the x and x e to the x and put the derivative in the second row derivative of e to the x is again e to the x and derivative of x e to the x the product rule is take the derivative of x which is one times by the other function e to the x plus x times derivative of e to the x is e to the x now we have to find this determinant we have to multiply this by this e to the x times this so we have e to the x times e to the x plus x e x minus this times by this minus x e to the x times e to the x now if you multiply e to the x in the bracket we have e to the x times e to the x which is e to the 2x plus x e to the 2x minus x e to the 2x cancel each other so this is the run scan of these two functions now let's find these integrals here So let us start with finding this integral. Integral of y2. What is y2? y2 is x e to the x. What is f of x? f of x is this expression. e to the x over 1 plus x squared all over the run scan which is e to the 2x note that here if we multiply this x e to the x in the numerator note that the denominator here is 1 if you multiply x e to the x in the numerator we have x e to the x times e to the x which then if we multiply these two we have x e to the 2x which if we cancel e to the 2x in numerator with this e to the x in denominator what remains finally is x over 1 plus x squared dx and for finding this integral if you choose the denominator here to be u derivative of that u derivative of u is 2x dx and fortunately we have x dx here without these two so the numerator is one half du and the denominator is u so this equals one half du over u and if we pull out this one half integral of du over u is ln of u so finally this integral equals one half ln of u but what is u this expression so one plus x squared and don't forget this point sometimes make students make a mistake here they add constant c here when you use this formula for finding the particular solution when you calculate the integrals do not add the constant c 
to your integral. So the first integral is one half ln of one plus x two. Now let's calculate the other integral. Integral of y one. What is y one? The first function e to the x times y f of x e to the x over 1 plus x2 all over the Ranskian which is e to the 2x dx again if we multiply e to the x by e to the x we have e to the 2x which we, if we cancel with e to the 2x in denominator this equals integral of 1 over 1 plus x2 dx and from the formulas of integral, we know that integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared is tangent squared, tangent inverse of x. Now that we have the integrals, we can write the particular solution. The particular solution equals negative y1, negative e to the x times by this. Note that integral of y to f of x over ron scan is this. So times by one half ln of one plus x squared. So, so this multiplies by one half ln of one plus x squared plus y2. y2 is x e to the x times by the other integral, which is tangent inverse of x tangent inverse of x so this is the particular solution of this differential equation and here we have the complementary solution and if we add them we have the general solution of this differential equation I hope by watching this video you have learned a bit about finding the solution of a non-homogeneous differential equation with the method of variation of parameters. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channel.